to improve and Joel said pretty much the same after the game on Saturday as well. I just wonder, did you expect a turnaround in form to happen quicker and if so, what reasons do you see for it not happening just yet for you? Yeah, no, quicker, not sure. Um, I think we had this one of the conversations we had already this year was uh, after, before and after Ajax game or before after the Napoli, especially after the Napoli game, when we all realised, okay, wow, that's now really a low point. We have to change um, the things quickly. Um, didn't play Wolves, played Ajax, didn't play Chelsea. Man, we have so we couldn't pick anything up and, and keep it from from the Ajax game really, and then. On top of that, you face Brighton, which um, in a very good moment, a very good team with a new manager, and you can see these two early goals, uh, which is in no situation helpful, but in other situations maybe lesser harmful than it was for us that day. And it turned around, not with a brilliant performance, but with a proper fight and, um, and adapting to the, the situation, um, denying Brighton in the areas they wanted to play, and all these kind of things. So, and you are three two up, and then you could see it's not the first time. and. That, that something like this happened, that we were not controlling the game. Um, we, we had our moments, we had chances, we had top moments where we could have scored the fourth goal. Didn't do that, um, and so you leave the door open, and that's what happened. And um, so, how it always is in life when you have a problem, when you spot a problem, you <coughs> think about it, you tr think you have the solution, um, and of course, you expect then the solution to. to, to to be instant, influential, and bam, sorted. Um, that's in football never the case. It will never be the case. Even if we would have won the game 3-2, it uh, would have been a completely different feeling, obviously, but with similar problems. Um, and that's why we just have to keep going. Yes, we have to improve. We have to, improve, we have to um, play better, consistently better, and um, defend better, attack better, pretty much everything. It's, it's like it is. Uh, but I... I <laughs> I don't want to talk too much about it, but it's 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 really like this. We had, it's only two years ago. We had a very similar situation for different reasons, where we where we um, lost our full defense, uh, our centre halves, all of them pretty much, and um, had to find solutions. And we lost our game completely. Nobody could recognise anymore. We just wore the same shirts, but couldn't react as quick as people would wish. And um, but we found a way out because. We worked on it, and that's what we will do this time. And um, so our general situation is obviously is important, but not so much for tomorrow because that's a, when you prepare for a game, you prepare for a game independent of your situation, the situation you're in. And um, Rangers, um, how I think, do extremely well in general, but in Champions League, the results they had were now not exactly what they wanted. Um, so. We expect a team who is really fighting for a result, and um, that's what we have to prepare for. After Saturday as well, I wonder again how confidence is affected, and if confidence is fragile, does that in turn kind of make Rangers a little bit more dangerous, particularly yeah. over two games? It would be dangerous in any, in any situation, but yes, but that's. So people will ask, how can it happen that, that players don't, that these players are not full of confidence? I just. <sighs> Do you think Cristiano Ronaldo in this moment is on top of his confidence level? And I would say he, he was for ages best player in the world, and and and, and now he's, he's not going its way, and it's not exactly the same. That happens to all of us. Lionel Messi played last year's season where, um, yeah, it was not exactly the same because these kind of things are really important to all of us, and you have to to work for it. You have to do and to do and to go and and, and to, to to keep to take the little things to make a step in the right direction, and then. In the moment when um, that you are really ready for the moment when it when it's when it's back, and um, that's what we are doing. It's not really without confidence, but you have this being two 0 down is not good for confidence, and being three two up is usually really good. But you could see with the first attack they had, which we gave them pretty much after three two, it was like oh, still open game, okay. So and that's how how it happens, especially collectively in the individual sports. Maybe I'm not don't know exactly, but. Maybe uh, you can f fight yourself through it, but in a team sport, we all have to do it together, and that makes it a bit more complicated, but that's it. Mike? 
Yeah, again, um, the Liverpool defence is coming for uh, an awful lot of criticism re recently, and with some justification, but it's the amount of times now that the teams are getting through to the defence that we're not really that used to seeing, but it, it's happened in other games this season. What's the solution to that? Yeah, you're right. So we concede now. We concede now similar goals. Let me say like this: where, where they go through the same gaps and stuff like this. Yeah, um, the the problem is the, 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 the special problem. What we have is that we have a really brave way of defending usually, um, and <laughs> when the timing in our defending is not perfect, then we leave a gap open. That was always the case, by the way. But because the pressure we made on the ball, on the boy on the ball. Um, it nobody really recognized it because um, yeah we close it with intensity if you want so if we don't do that then this gap is open for a short moment and um, Brighton use it quite often pass the ball through um, our gap in between the lines where they could turn and these kind of things and that makes it tricky so yes we have to be more compact we have to um, we have that in our mind, we know that, but it's in the moment it's going well, you do it and then you do it again, and by the time it's still not right, that's it. So, the, how we said last week, I think defending is kind of an art, and it worked for us uh, really long, really well. But when it's not working out anymore, um, you realize step by step how much you have to go back to, to the basics that you, that you are, um, defend solid again. How much of a concern is it that after the, the Napoli game? that Liverpool were, were much more like it against Ajax and uh, the intensity was there, great football, a victory, but it was a, how much of a concern that it was a, a real step back at the weekend in the next game? No, it's not, not too much a concern. It's, um, that specific thing is not, I'm not too much concerned about because that's now, the game we played explains the, set, the situation. I think um, against a lot of teams we would have been good enough to, to win the game. Um, but Brighton was extremely good, so that's it. I don't say against all, but Brighton was now really, really good. Um, with all the things, we didn't know how to prepare for it because we had no clue what Roberto will do, what he will keep, what he will bring in new. That's a little bit the thing. So obviously we need to be 2 nil down to sort that, because after that we didn't have these problems anymore. They're not exactly the same problems. Um, and no, I, I explained it now. We had two and a half weeks after Ajax game, we didn't play. So the boys were all over the world. That's why we couldn't pick up from there. So that's it. Now we have to take the the, the, the good things out of the last game and and um, try to um, yeah to do that. Actually, there were there were good things. So the, the period when we when we had three two up was not free flowing, flowing football, but it was the football we had to play on that day because we had to do to, to break them down step by step, and it's what we did. Um, and then we conceded the equaliser, and so that, that's the last feeling you keep. It felt like a defeat. It wasn't, but it felt again like this. And that's where we we have to just to make... It's, patience is not the 100% right word, but we have to be patient to do the right thing again and again and again until it works out again, and then we will be fine on a different level. Not fine, but it will not, we have to work always hard. But that's what we have to do. We cannot always start new, thinking completely new, what can we do. But if we can help the boys with, with, uh, um, with, a, with a way to defend it differently, we will do that. We have, to be more, we have to be more solid, we have to make more compact, definitely. And that's what we try to be. The gentleman just behind with the mask. Hi, uh, what's, Hi. what's your assessment of this Rangers team and what sort of threat do you think they might mm -hmm. pose you tomorrow? Good football team, well coached. Um, ex ex exceptional European season last year, obviously. Uh, qualifying for the Champions League, big, 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 big achievement. Um, and yeah, saw obviously the last game against Hearts. Um, so just uh, so more games, but uh, now especially the last one. And um, really good football team. And um, that's what we have to prepare for. And the team who have had res have had results now they. Um, didn't want, so that's what they uh, wanna wanna change definitely. So we expect a, a, a proper fight, a real fight, to be honest, and that's um, what we prepare for. Chris McKenna. Okay, just on uh, Darren Nunes, he started just one of four games since his suspension. I'm just wondering, is he still adapting to this team, the way he play, and where he is at in kind of confidence and form level? It's good. Um, yeah, of course he's still adapting. How players always adapt, um, and this is now the fifth year. 
players, new players come in and um, everybody talks about them and wants them to shine immediately. That happens from time to time um, and, and sometimes not. And it's we are, we have only yesterday we had a long talk with Pep Linders because my Spanish or Portuguese is still not better. Um, and we just told him we are completely calm. So it's really important that in our situation that he's now not starting. And he's not looking like he's worrying or whatever. So that why he didn't start this game? He came from international and he had a how can I say doms in the in the hamstring. So uh, when you get this information from the, the medical part gives you some kind of minutes, how long is he allowed to play and don't start anybody who's allowed to play twenty minutes or fifteen. Um, so that's that reason. But I know then it's again this kind of discussion what we what we what is what we open up a little bit from the outside for the outside world. Um, of course, the three game suspension didn't help him to settle. That's clear, um, but that's pretty much all. Um, the team is not flying. That makes it not easier for a striker, especially, especially not for a, for a finisher. It's not that we we create chances, but it's not that everything is clicking and we just put one in one one player and he finishes our situations off. That's not our situation at the moment. As much as I wish it would be, um, and that's all. John Murray. Just wondering, do you, do you feel that it's the uh, the rarity value of Liverpool playing Rangers that helps to make these matches this week and next week so special? And I'm also asking that after what Florentino Perez said about how he feels that Europe's biggest clubs need to be playing each other more often for the for the game to be better. I'll bring it these two again. So. I heard now, Des told me, that uh, since 42 years now, there was no game between the English and the Scottish team anymore, right? So, yes, that's pretty special. That's pretty special. Unfortunately, apart from that, I cannot say really a lot about the relationship, what that means exactly, and, and all these kind of things. Um, nobody gave me a historical um, update. I know a few things, obviously, and that might be spe very special, yeah, for sure. But apart from that, it's a normal Champions League game. Yes, but it's very nice. Actually, I think for it's very nice that we don't play all the time the same teams. So it's new, it's refreshing, it's great for Rangers. It will be great atmosphere here, it will be great atmosphere there. Definitely, people should enjoy that. I hope and I hope they're able to enjoy it, to be honest. Um, it was now with, with Paris, what did he say? He's talking about how, you know, with an eye on the Super League. Just recently, just the, now, today, the, yesterday. The, the over the weekend. Ah. Uh, talking about how we deny on a potential Super League rearing its head again, that football would be better, the game would be better if Europe's biggest clubs were playing each other on a more regular basis. Uh -huh. <coughs> Actually, I, I couldn't have, I have no opinion about that, didn't think about it for a second, not interested too much about it in the moment, how you can imagine. Um, I think to improve football, he said. I think we should play lesser games to improve football, to be honest, give, give, the, give the people more time to train, that would improve football, but um, yeah, how I said, didn't think about it, no idea, no opinion. We've got a lot of people, hands up, we won't get through everyone, so I'll get through as many as I can, Carl Markham. Hi again, um, just go back a couple of things you said, you said two years ago when you had your, your issues. I think it was two years ago, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, you, I was. you worked through it, yeah. um, but, and that was effectively from January on with that, was a, that was a form of the process. Have you got, and you, you've said early, just earlier today, that if you can find a different way for the team to defend, you would do that. Is there a quick fix to be had, do you think? Or, and yeah, have, you got, have you got the time to... No, no, we don't have the time. Is there a quick fix? But yes, we can, we can play exactly the same and do better. That's already a fix. Um, that's how it is. Timing gets better. But how I said, if we can do something, we will do that as well. So that's uh, to make it easier for the boys. That's that's it. Um, that's actually always a job. It's like how I said, it's the same job I have. And in, in, in a time when you win 10, 12 times in a row, doesn't happen very often. But you have to stay on top of it, work on details, all these kind of things. That's what we do now, just with a different confidence level. So that's how it is usually in a, in a, in a, in a, in a time when you win a lot of games. Not everything is going away in a game, but uh, there's no impact. Because lose a the ball, they have a chance, whatever that happens. Ali makes it and staying safe, probably then we made a mistake before, nobody has in his mind. That's different in the moment. That's where we have to get to. We have to increase the amount of good moments and decrease the amount of not so good moments because that's how you get out of each, uh, out of every situation in life um, until you can make mistakes again 
without being as impactful as they are in the moment. Chairman, the police chief. Jurgen, uh, Ben Davies was in play against the Bulford Rangers this season. Uh, he's been injured, but came back on, on Saturday. Um, how much do you think he has to offer Rangers and what's been the position that we're covering this season and how can you improve the team? Ben is a really good player, so I, I, I know that he was injured. Um, so, if you tell me how impactful he was, I have no idea. You tell, you, but well, it was. There you know well. Yeah, yeah, but he was only he was out for seven weeks. No, that's six, yeah. Seven. yeah. So the season is not much longer. So how many how many games did he play? It's four games, I think. Yeah. Yeah. New player coming into a, a new club, so I, I don't know. I, the games I watched were the last three. Means I only saw him now the sixty odd minutes. He played there. Huh? Yeah. Run about. Um, He's a really good footballer. He was here. He was um, good build-up, um, good defender. All these kind of things. In our situation, it didn't work out here, but it doesn't make him a bad player, not at all. And he's especially a really good boy. So I think that's what Rangers wanted, and that's what Rangers got. When you're injured, it's a not helpful, obviously. And I think um, they were looking for a left-footed centre half there, and they got it. He can play different systems, which is important. Rangers played a decent Champions League, one and a half games. Round about with five in the back. Um, usually they don't, but Ben can play both, played both um, um, formations. So makes him really, a really valuable player for each squad and especially for Rangers. I think I think they are happy, but obviously we're not happy when you got injured. So how can you be happy then? I'll, I'll go to the gentleman in the glasses here. Then the gentleman in the front row. Then we'll have to clear the room for Costas or Smikas. Hi, Jorgen. Um, I wonder if I can just open the Rangers question further and ask for your thoughts on where you think the Scottish game is. At the moment, we have obviously Rangers did very well in European football last year. We have Celtic and Rangers in the Champions League for the first time in a long time together. The Scottish international team are doing pretty well. What's your perception of where the, the Scottish game is at the moment? What level it's at? Well, I think increased a lot there. Huh? I think we. I see you nodding, so I think we agree um, on that. Um, yeah, Rangers and Celtic um, are obviously the, the standout teams in the league. That, that's no news, um, but they do, and that, that's then probably the best um, measurement you can get is when how, how do they do in Europe? And the Rangers run last year um, in the European League was exceptional. Uh, so the games against Dortmund, for example, it's just really good. And um, especially home game, you can see how how atmosphere can can give you really the edge in the game, and um, that was really was really impressive. It's, uh, <coughs> Sorry, and and Celtic is obviously doing really well as well. You're right. Um, the, the Scottish team is is, has, is full of talent, and so it's um, that's we have obviously uh, with Calvin another Scottish boy here um, who's come only back from 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 injury. Uh, so in the um, in the U18s another big talent. So it's 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 cool. It's a cool place to scout again if you want like this. And it's, I think it's a good it's a good sign uh, for Scottish football. You might be a bit disappointed that they are not still in Scotland, but um, to be honest, um, with these two teams that dominant, we all know that then if a player is really developing, it's probably not unlikely that he will at least give it a try in the Premier League or wherever. But it's for sure a much better moment um, than maybe four or five years ago, and that's down to um, the players you have meanwhile. Awesome. Last one here. Stephen Gerrard has obviously worked closely with a lot of this Rangers squad. Is he someone you've spoken to at all about Rangers or about just this fixture in general? And when he was there, we spoke, yeah, but just how much he enjoyed it. But since then, um, not anymore, to be honest. But. Um, yeah, for me, it's how I said, when Stevie was there, I, I, I followed it closely and tried to, have to at least uh, look at the results the weekend. Um, and I think he enjoyed a lot the job there, he was very successful there, it was for him a big a big um, career move when he came from, from here, from Liverpool to, to Rangers, did really well. Um, and now he's at Villa, that's it. Thank you everyone, Costas will be next.